Hey guys, welcome back. It's Caleb from Caleb the Video Maker 2. Now, continuing from the last video, we are going to be talking about more operators. In the previous video, I mentioned how some operators change the value of the operands. That's what we are going to be showing in this video. And we are going to be talking about two of the most popular and most important operators in programming. So please pay attention. These are called the increment and decrement operators. So whenever you want to increment a value, you can actually use this operator. And incrementing a value actually just means to increase the value by one. Decrement means to decrease the value by one. So if we have a variable called pizzas to eat, and we'll set this to a reasonable number, the hard way to increment a value is to do this. Pizzas to eat equals pizzas to eat plus one. And the way this works is it's going to take the value of pizzas to eat, 123, add 1 to it, and then assign the whole thing back to pizzas to eat. So you end up with 124 in the variable pizzas to eat. But there is a shorthand way to do this. All you have to do is say pizzas to eat plus plus. This is a shorthand way to do just this. This is very good if you just want to add one to a variable. This format is a little bit better if you want to add more than one to a variable. Let's say you wanted to add five to a variable. Up here it would be very easy because you could just say plus five. But if you wanted to do it with the plus plus, you would literally have to put the statement five times. And you get the point. That would just be slow and cumbersome and we don't want to do that. But whenever you just need to add one, you're always going to want to use the plus plus because that is a standard convention in programming. At first it takes a little bit to get used to this, but once you see it a thousand times, you'll be able to read it as if it literally just says, add one to this variable. Now this operator, it is a unary operator, which means it only takes one operand. The operand is the variable. It doesn't need two variables, it only changes one variable. Now, I wanna play some trivia. Let's play a little game, okay? Let's try to guess the output of some code. Let's get rid of this line here, and then we're going to print something. Well, what are we going to output? Well, we're actually going to make another variable, and we are going to call it output. And we are going to set it equal to pizzas to eat plus plus. And just to make this clear, let's get rid of this line too. And we will also set the value of pizzas to eat to 100. <laughs> we just want this to be as simple as possible. So I want you to figure out what will happen when I print output like this. I recommend you give it a try. You got five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, point five, zero. <laughs> the answer is a hundred. It actually outputs out a hundred. Why a <laughs> hundred? This is one of the trickiest parts to understand about the increment operator. When we do something like this, pizzas to eat plus plus, we are saying we want the plus plus to happen after the value of pizzas to eat is assigned to output. What that means is that pizzas to eat at this point down here equals 101, but it only outputs 100 because the increment didn't happen until after output got the value. To change this, we can actually put the plus plus before the variable. Now, let's run the code and I'll show you. You can see that output's 101. If we put the pluses at the end, you will see that the output is 100. Let's save it. Right there, 100. In addition to the increment operator, there is also a decrement operator and that just looks like minus minus, and it works exactly the same way. And we need to update this comment. Ah, don't you hate when comments are outdated? All right, let's try this. The output is 100. That's because the decrement doesn't happen until after the assignment. So let's print out pizzas to eat after this point. So, uh, pizzas to eat. And also, I'm going to change the string here, just so the variables don't get confused here. We're going to say this is output. We'll write that, and now let's run it. So output is 100, and pizzas to eat is 99. 
the decrement operator is literally the same thing as doing pizzas to eat equals pizzas to eat minus one. Just like that. If this stuff is a little bit confusing to you, that's okay. This is one of those barriers you have to get past to become an efficient programmer. Don't worry about it. Just watch this video a couple thousand times and click subscribe. <laughs> Do a ton of research on incrementing and decrementing. I promise you, promise you, this is going to come up again. So don't neglect it. Thanks, guys, and I will see you in the next video.